Hi everyone, it's Lonnie with Grace Blossoms for you and I am excited to share today's project with you. I have been wondering how I'm going to do like a, a, a more serious or more involved, I guess I should say, um, page for studying. So this is our, um, this is the size that of journal that we're working on right now. It's a five and a half by eight and a half with two designated spots for the binder rings. Um, so what I wanted to do was like, what if you're doing a topical study? So um, if you want to write out a whole bunch of verses that pertain to one topic. And so I thought pockets would be a great idea. And then I thought, well, how to fit the most pockets on a page? Um, we've done the big envelope thing, so you could stick a bunch in there. But I thought just to make it a little more fun or a little more accessible, um, to make individual pockets. So, I mean, you have to go with what size of page you're working with. So um, I wanted the maximum size pocket that I could put on, but I wanted many of them. So um, I do have one finished. I'll show that to you later. Um, to make the pockets, I start out with a fairly thin piece of paper. Copy paper would work well. Um, a printed digital, um, even lined paper. I use some lined paper. It's a little bit thinner than this music paper, but um, it works. Even I was working with um, colored copy paper. That's also an idea. Um, pretty well if you can fold it and it's not too thick, um, then you should be able to use it. Then what I did, so the pockets, I made the size four and three quarter inches by six and a half inches. So the six and a half will be folded. So then it'll be four and three quarters wide by three and a quarter deep. So that's the pocket. And then I wanted to put index cards in it. Or if not index cards, then um, journal cards. And I went with the small journal cards, three to, you know, three by fours. But then I notice they don't have lines and if you're in a hurry you don't always want to take the time to decorate or draw your own lines so then that brought me back to index cards and I had some three by fives so obviously they were a little too large so what I ended up doing was taking an inch off the side so these are now three by four or four by three however you want to say it and so they will fit with, because you need a little bit of leeway on the sides here for the glue. So there's that to keep in mind. So this pocket will fit beside my hole punched there. And um, the card will fit inside the pocket. So then all we have to do is make the pockets and arrange them on the page. I decided I wanted six pockets at least. And so, um, yeah, so what I did was I cut a whole bunch and I decided to alternate between music paper and um, the pieces of paper that I had that written the word on. Um, 
I've mentioned before that I like to write out scripture and sometimes I just end up with all this paper and then I need something, I need a project for which to put them in. Okay, so I alternated those and I spaced them about an inch or so apart on this paper here. I did leave a little bit of room up there and I'll show you why in a bit. Um, before I glued them all, I lined them all up like so and did a partial circle punch. You don't have to do that. You could cut it by hand or you could even tear it because I was going for the torn look and um, that kind of messed it up a little bit, but I didn't want to tear that. I mean, you could, but I chose to do it with a punch. Um, you could also cut it with scissors. Or even you could make this side a little shorter and then it would just have this um, a little bit of a lip on the back side. That would work as well. Then I took my vintage photo and I did add some water to it so that it would be really um, fast. That's what I was going for. And so I inked all my edges that would be showing. So now all I have left to do is to glue it down on the piece of paper here. So the way, well, first I glue the, the pockets and I'll show you how I do that. First one's the flimsiest. The, this is flimsier than the uh, music paper. So what I did was just um, put a thin line of glue. Your favorite glue will be fine. This is Elmer's, it works. And then I just try to keep it kind of close to the edge. Don't want it to squish out the sides either so much. So, so just the two sides. And then seal up the sides. All right, so I'm gonna start roughly at the top and I already know I can leave an inch. And then when I go to put the put these on the page, if you will glue them on the sides as well, you will actually end up with more slots where you can add more verses if you so choose. So I'm just gonna press that down a little. Hopefully it'll dry fairly quickly. Not if I keep moving it, it won't. All right, so the next one will be this. Now I dyed these with coffee, um, diluted coffee, I guess. Coffee stained them. However, um, I wanted something a little bit different. So to my coffee, I added a few drops of red food coloring. So that kind of gave me this uh, almost peachy effect here. And I'm quite liking it. It just adds a little different. Now I did use a uh, craft paper for the back here uh, because I need something a little more firm because with the six pockets hanging on here, it's gonna need a little bit 
it's going to need to be a little bit firm so that um, everything doesn't fall over on us. Alright, so that's another pocket glued together. And I'll glue this one down. I'll show you the spacing. So because I used line paper, I just went to the third line. So one, two, three, just there. That's about an inch. And because I I tore it, I tore the edges. They're not all identical. Like it gives a little bit of a rustic look when you tear it. Because um, to be honest, when I first envisioned this project, I wanted it to be super clean and straight edged. And um, I found as I was cutting my papers and getting them ready that they just weren't cooperating. And I don't know if I looked at my um, paper cutter incorrectly or what I did or if it was me or if the paper was just determined to be crooked but anyways it didn't work and so I went from you know being all excited about this really clean project um, to thinking okay so what else can I do and so if you line up all your pages and then cut the circle out um, you should have it in the same spot all the way down. Okay, so this is the trend. And then I'll show you the one I have already completed. So this one has the six pockets. Um, I chose just to keep the decorations to a minimal sticker and then what I was I, I had some colored um, index cards and what I did was I decided to do a topical study on the faithfulness of God so then I looked up a whole bunch of verses that talked about his faithfulness and so I would actually like to share those with you. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. A God of faithfulness and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. I love to be reminded of God's faithfulness because um, there is, you know, you can't put your faith in man anymore. Everybody's going to lay you down at some point. God is the only one. And that's because he does not lie. So when he makes a promise, he has to keep it. Even if we don't always see it the way we think it should happen, he is faithful and he will bring it to pass. That's his promise. All right, so you see, this slips in here perfectly. And then 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will provide the way of escape also, so that you will be able to endure it. So that can go in the next one. So then you can see the verses sticking out there. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10 verse 23. So because we glued these down on the side, we also have extra tucking space. Revelation 1 verse 5, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood. 
So then you can kind of tuck them separately. Or if there's like a two-parter or something, you can obviously put more than one card in each pocket. But you can also keep them together this way. However you want to do it. This is just giving you lots, lots of options and lots of room. And two, lots of surprise, lots of room for surprise. Like what's in this pocket, what verse is in here? Stuff like that. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name for you have worked wonders. Plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. Isaiah 25 verse one. So there's another for our pocket. And of course, when you do a topical study, you will end up likely with more than six verses. So I just thought when I put the colored ones in here, the um, color of the index cards just kind of popped. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 verse 9. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. Revelation 19, verse 11. So that is yet future. All right, so that can be tucked in here. And I'd have some extra cards that I'm going to uh, put in here as well. Also, um, what I might do is tuck the extra ones. To another thought I had was um, if people wanted to stand them up in here. I could certainly do that. And then there would be room for more than one. Um, I also made some index cards out of cardstock. I just cut them. And then I used some lines underneath to draw, to write out the verses. God is faithful through whom you were called into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then if you wanted to double up, it might be easier to do them standing up like so. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 3. So I'm kind of liking the idea of being able to stand them up But then we should probably start with them all going the same direction. Because there's so many pockets, um, it is a little bit... Oops. It definitely works better if you start from the top. Unless you're just putting them back where they were, but we're organizing. So, start there. So you can see I left a little bit of room up top there, just in case for standing up. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Sorry, Psalm 145, verse 13. 
A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not extinguish. He will faithfully bring forth justice. Isaiah 42, verse 3. I am looking forward to his justice because it certainly doesn't seem like there's much of it down here on this earth anymore. So, yeah, so there's some options as to how to tuck it in. And I wonder if I did that. Oh, there you go. I messed it. I went beside. It's just no big deal. It's just not what I was intending to do. Okay, so... So if you double them up like that, that's 12 verses for the pockets. And then, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 3. Alright, so if you have that little um, cut in the pocket there, it's easier to see where they should go. And two, um, I didn't make any specific for this, but I was thinking... Um, if you put them in the other way, like so, what you could do is put labels on this part here that's showing, and then you would know what verse is inside if you want to do that. Like the, the one with my favorite one, I might put in the uh, bottom one and then put a label on here. That's just another idea. So, anyways, that is what I came up with. And then, if you know, I'm just going to get messy with these now because I can. So then what I wanted to do also, I mean, that's not overly thick you could definitely fill that up some more what i wanted to do was put um like the topic i wanted to put the topic on here so what i thought of was a tab so what i figured on i cut two tabs and then i put a small paper clip with the smallest part to the inside but I want that I don't want that sticking out so I want it sticking out on this side and then I did ink up the outside edges so I want to put it like so make like an altered paper clip and for this I'll use my stronger glue it's PVA glue because I need the I need the glue to stick to the paper clip and the paper I might have a little too much but that's okay if it squirts out I have a use for that. I'll show you in a second. So then with that together, so then the one half of the paper clip is sandwiched in between. So then what I want to do is, because it's going to take a while to dry, I just put two clips 
keep it together. And then I just got to make sure it's kind of at the end there where the paper clip is. Showing or where the paper clip is extending out of the paper. So then I got to put this aside to dry. All right, so that'll take a few hours. I left it overnight last time. Um, so the one I did is this one. And so this will be the back where the paper clip is. And this will take these out for now. I plan to put this here, like so. Now, if you didn't want to use a paper clip and you still wanted to use a tab, you could simply glue the top part of the tabs together and then glue the piece of paper in the middle. I won't be doing that this time. So what I was thinking of since I have... Okay, so this is the glue that I was using. It dries shiny and clear and I thought I really liked that. So what I might actually do it reminds me of that uh, glossy accent stuff that you put on top of things. Um, so what I thought I might do is write the topic, which is, now you could put a label on here as well. I just figured I could write smaller or you'd need a bigger tab, however you want to do that. All right, so then, too, what I was thinking, because one of them talks about our hope in him. And hope always reminds me of our hope is the anchor of our soul. So what I have here is a little wooden anchor. And I attached it to... I mean, you could use a paper, uh, what do you call them, a safety pin, but I used a bulb pin. So I thought it would be kind of a cool thing to just attach it through that loop there. And then close it up. So then it could be a little dangly thing. It's actually got um, some definition on the one side. So you could probably ink it on the other side as well. Or you could hang something else there or you wouldn't need to hang anything at all. Totally up to you. There's so many things you could do. So like I said, I put a sticker there and um, basically that's... Um, what I wanted to show you today. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you got some ideas and that you'll be able to use them. And I hope you have a great rest of the week and bye for now.